It's Goldmore Amber Dawn, Wednesday, August 26, 2015, 2.55 p.m. Wow, I sure have failed at Vita this year. I, I did better when I did it just in clips and made really long videos. Nobody watched them, but... Sorry, I'm a bit behind. So quick, Thursday, August 20th was music day, fave bands, and etc. You can also share instruments, play, whatever, a song or whatever. Um, I'm a big music lover. I love, I have a big collection of vinyl and cassettes, and I've got the CDs put in the black casings because I realized carrying thousands of CDs was silly in the jewel cases and um my itunes library is embarrassing so big fan of music my uh last fm profile last dot fm slash goldmorn g-o-l-d-m-o-u-r-n will give you like a taste of what kind of music i'm into but because i have cassettes and cds and records i mean there's a lot of stuff that isn't included in my overall taste but that gives you a really good idea because i've been keeping track with audio scrabbling for several years. Okay, share something that matters to you. A physical thing, idea, experience. Okay, I tend to be very passionate about a lot of things. Um, I get really like ranty, really ranty, which would make me a better YouTuber if I would use those, do those rants on video instead of like subjecting my partners and friends to them. But I get passionate about a lot of stuff, uh, anything that's going on and just various things over the years, like issues globally and locally, etc. But if I want to share something that matters to me, um, and keep it like, um, simple and not get into politics or anything, uh, of an actually important nature, I'd probably say writing. Um, but I can't go in like, I, I will get into things like don't even get me started on recent news happenings I, I can't okay so Saturday August 22nd 2015 there's traffic outside the window well as opposed to inside the window uh, tell us what you were like 10 years ago that was on the 22nd of August that was really depressing to go back and look into my live journal and see couple things were going on at the time. The positive thing was that I had a great best friend at the time. She was super cool, super awesome. She was back from Arizona and um, she was one of the best friends I'd ever had since high school and I miss her friendship. In fact, with time and perspective, over the years, I realized I miss her way more than the boyfriends that would get my attention and drama. And wow, there's my alarm. Better start fasting. Okay, so, and I should go faster in this video. So she was in my life when I looked back at a live journal post, but also something else happened. I was getting catfished. Yeah, that's right. Before catfish was the cool term, it was just called getting screwed over on the internet. It was on Yahoo Messenger. There was this guy... And I was really vulnerable at the time. I was out of that long-term relationship with the 15, the f 15 years older than me man, my first everything. And I was vulnerable and I was starting to want to date and various people would talk to me online. And this one guy talked to me and he had like a dozen other internet girlfriends or less than that. But we found out and, uh, but we, we hadn't found out yet in this time, um, and I also had gallbladder issues. I had such bad attacks because I'd had a uh, stone in the neck of my gallbladder that I ended up going to the hospital and getting um, IV pain meds and I was vomiting everywhere. But hey, the look was good on me. Okay, so tell what, I, what was I like naive and still yet to know what experiences I would have. I was living in this apartment building because I was straight, straight out of Compton. No, I don't know why I wanted to say that. I was straight out of um, the factory issue thing and I thought I was going to be retrained and, you know, this is before I started school and I guess I was really hopeful and gullible and naive and I don't know, I'm more cynical now. 
Sunday, August 23rd. Wow, five minutes. Didn't want to go that long. The best uh I've uh this year. Wow, you guys really left that open for us, eh? Um, the best thing I've done this year would be I want to say when helping a friend start anew, but I, I'd also like to say, you know what, I liked it when me, my husband and I, we, we traveled this year, and although flying is not on the top of my list, just not a fave, I'm really glad that we went up to the Scott Monument in Edinburgh, Scotland. That was pretty cool, and I did that, you know? I did that. Monday, August 24th, 2015. Would you rather have a rewind button or a pause button? Is this how I'm going? Like, we can continually rewind and re or we could continually pause? Honestly, if you're paused in the moment, are you, like, stopped? Then you can't really enjoy it. But if you just want to stop and, like, in the moment and be, be present, uh, we can do that without a pause button. Rewind button? You know, it's very tempting. Yeah, if I rewound, I'd go back and I'd keep the best friend, ditch the jerky boyfriends. I'd not let the ex get, not the one that I was talking about earlier, but the other one get in my head and I would give the other guy a chance. Or I wouldn't, I'd just stay on my own. I would, uh, uh, and I would, uh, 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 and you would just drive yourself crazy using rewind button. Especially after you've said something or done something and you immediately regret it. I mean, could you imagine how chaotic that would be? No. No. I mean, obviously, I would love to rewind with the knowledge I have now and go back and, like, change a few things so that my life could be slightly different. But I don't know. I'd probably just mess up in all new ways. So neither. Okay. If you could read or watch only one genre of book or movie, what would it be? And then it says something about how you can still, like, watch uh, TV shows, movies, or read books. This question's confusing again. I know you guys are probably clear on we blog, we blog. I just, I'm not good with prompts. Have you noticed? Um, immediately when I thought of what genre of book I would read, I thought letters, journals, diaries. You know, I would stick with those. And then right before I was set to record, I thought, Poetry! Poetry! Poetry. So I can't decide. Sorry. Uh, this was a top one. A uh, tough top one. Top five things about where you live. I am jelly. I never use that word in real life. Don't worry. That's the first time I really used it. Okay. Of the person and the people who live in Toronto. Because I used to live in Toronto, and I would have been like, bang, 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 about the top five things in Toronto. Like, get on the Queen Street car. Just drive to the one end. Make sure you have another token. And then drive back to the other end. Make sure you have a token. Or have a pass and just jump on and off all the way. Not like when it stops. Don't just jump. And go to the beaches, because it exists. If you're, if you're a West Queen West person, discover the beaches. And if not, if you're the other, go to, ch go, just walk around like somebody said, V-Dub girl. Go walk around, just walk around. Walk around, walk up, walk up and get down. I think that's how it went. Um, but I live in my hometown of St. Thomas, so go see Jumbo the Elephant. We killed him. Um, go see Waterworks Park, Pinafore Park. And now, Optimus Park. It's existed for a while, but now they have exercise machines and they've made a track around it. Like, a, it's paved, but it's pretty cool. Optimus Park. But don't go there because too many people are starting to go there now. And now it's... Why? People go there now. So it's good, but bad. Like, it was like a secret. It was like, wow, we got a special park. Okay, fifth thing. Support your local businesses. No, seriously, try because this place is in trouble. Don't do drugs. Yeah, in this town, don't do drugs. That seems to be one of the top. Sorry, hating on it. I like that there's a bike trail going 
one way I'd like to see more oh this isn't about what we would like to see so I'm done I'm done here thanks for watching 10 minutes you probably didn't but hey I'm caught up that's all that matters the thing that's important to me is writing I need to get back to writing that's what I need to do as I slam stuff around writing it's important and stops me from obsessing and entering everybody's email addresses into the database to find out if they're a cheater or not. Okay, bye.